Hello there. I am in my backyard garden. I'm reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 7. In chapter 7, it talks about a chosen people, and then it talks about blessings for obedience. But before I get started, I want to talk just a little bit about what you see in the video today. Today I'm showing you a wide view of part of our backyard garden. Okay, enough about that. Back to Bible reading. Today I'm reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 7. The reading begins. When the Lord your God brings you into the land that you are about to enter and occupy, and he clears away many nations before you, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations mightier and more numerous than you, and when the Lord your God gives them over to you and you defeat them, then you must utterly destroy them. Make no covenant with them and show them no mercy. Do not intermarry with them, giving your daughters to their sons or taking their daughters for your sons, for that would turn away your children from following me to serve other gods. Then the anger of the Lord would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. But this is how you must deal with them. Break down their altars, smash their pillars, hew down their sacred poles, and burn their idols with fire. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on earth to be his people, his treasured possessions. It was not because you were more numerous than any other people that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you were fewer of all peoples. It was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath that he swore to your ancestors that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know, therefore, that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who maintains covenant loyalty with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousandth generation and who repays in their own person those who reject him. He does not delay, but repays in their own person those who reject him. Therefore, observe diligently the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances that I am commanding you today. If you heed these ordinances, by diligently observing them, the Lord your God will maintain with you the covenant loyalty that he swore to your ancestors. He will love you, bless you, and multiply you. He will bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground, your grain and your wine and your oil, the increase of your cattle, and the issue of your flock in the land that he swore to your ancestors to give to you. You shall be most blessed of peoples with neither sterility nor barrenness among you or your livestock. The Lord will turn away from you every illness, all the dread diseases of Egypt that you experienced. He will not inflict on you but he will lay them on all who hate you. You shall devour all the peoples that the Lord your God is giving over to you, 
showing them no pity. You shall not serve their gods, for that would be a snare to you. If you say to yourself, These nations are more numerous than I, how can I dispossess them? Do not be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all of Egypt. The great trials that your eyes saw, the signs and wonders, the mighty hand and the outstretched arm by which the Lord your God brought you out. The Lord your God will do the same to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the pestilence against them until even the survivors and the fugitives are destroyed. Have no dread of them, for the Lord your God who is present with you is a great and awesome God. The Lord your God will clear away these nations before you little by little. You will not be able to make a quick end of them, otherwise the wild animals would become too numerous for you. But the Lord your God will give them over to you and throw them into great panic until they are destroyed. He will hand their kings over to you and you shall blot out their name from under heaven. No one will be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The images of their gods you shall burn with fire. Do not covet the silver or the gold that is on them and take it for yourself because you could be ensnared by it for it is aberrant to the Lord your God. Do not bring an aberrant thing into your house or you will be set apart for destruction like it. You must utterly detest and abhor it for it is set apart for destruction. This ends the reading of Deuteronomy chapter number 7.